Hey y'all. Hey. So we're gonna do our chicken tractor today and um, I've checked my materials and wire is the thing we're short on right now. But I think we have enough we, to do. We use them for the brooder, outdoor yes. brooder, that kind of threw us off a little bit. I'm gonna reuse it though. Oh yeah. I'm gonna recycle that. Don't worry. But uh, <laughs> we have enough we think to do like an eight foot long by 12 foot, or eight foot wide by 12 foot long tractor. It'll be about two feet tall. So, so we can move it around easily. Yep. It'll slide and slide across the ground. We're gonna, I'm gonna cut the materials. And uh, sorry for the wind. It is very windy I, here today. As I was just getting ready to say, it's super windy. Yeah, so. tomorrow is going to be worse though, and thunderstorms all day. So we've got to get this done today, and we're going to plant our garden stuff today to get it in the ground before the rain comes. So. Uh, time crunch. Yep, we got a lot to do today. Yeah. All right, you got right. it, bud. Yeah. You're a great helper. Good. We have to get two more after this mm -hmm. one, buddy. Mm -hmm. Put it right. Good job. Right. Come back this way. That way. You are strong. Daddy. Yeah. Watch where you're going. You're on a trip. Okay. Let's put this one up on the saw. I got it. Let's put this one on the saw. Yay. All right. Hopefully I'll get to see some of that. I don't know yet. But um, now we've got to figure out our metal. We need to take the metal off of that and bring it over here and see how far. How much shape. Yep, how much shape we're going to have and then we'll do our wire top. So this is working out wonderfully. Yeah. Very good. It's not too terribly heavy. I mean, I can, have, I can lift one end by myself. I'd probably rather have two people on my end, but yeah. I can do it. So that's good. Oh, yeah. my so that's it. This is going to work good. One more 12 foot brace this way for the roofing, so find an extra.
So, I've made a bunch of quarter inch rips. They're just all random widths of just scrap two by four or two by six I had laying around. And uh, they're just quarter inch by like inch and a half. But what we'll do, we'll put the wire on and then we'll take these and put it on the wire. Nail through them and that'll help sandwich that wire. It holds a whole lot better when you do that. So that's what we're getting ready to do now. Yep. So we're putting on the chicken wire now. And uh, yep, I've got an air stapler. And uh, basically, this furring strip is going to work like this. It sandwiches it. And it really holds it secure. Alright, so. Here's the furring strip. This is what I was talking about, about how we're uh, securing it. We take the furring strip and just sandwich the wire between it and the frame. And uh, we'll stick a nail or a staple. Oh, hey Lydia, there's a kink in my hose somewhere, baby girl. Go find it, baby. So, yeah, it happens with air hoses sometimes, but it's still way faster than nailing by hand. Up oh, there she it is. It. Here it goes. Say that. I Just like so. That's how we're doing it, along the top and the bottom. screw it down and uh, this is gonna work out nice we got to put the wire here the wire across over there the short end, the short end yeah and then uh, we need to build put wire over the rest of it and then the lid part so this is working out well okay so we're putting our top wire on now and then uh, I'm not sure really what I'm gonna do I'm going to put wire across the front. I'm not sure how I'm going to build my door yet. That remains to be seen, so we'll figure that out here next. But uh, just putting the top wire on, stretching it and nailing it with the furring strips just like we did before. Okay, so we've got this built. Our, our door is, is kind of makeshift for right now. It just folds over like that which is not that big of a deal, but it's going to work just fine. We'll get the chickens in and out and get and, uh, water to them, so that's the important part. Yeah. Functional. But um, it's pretty secure. We're going to carry it over, set it in the field, and then count, do a meat bird count, because we don't know how many we actually have right now. Yeah, we we haven't had a lot of luck with these ones. We've lost quite a few, so yeah. that's how you guys, sometimes you get a batch and you just lose them, and that's, sometimes it's, you, they do great. It just depends. I think a lot of it depends on the hatchery too. Yeah. So sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. Right now we're getting up. There's some more room to spread out and we can move them every day. How many is that? There's 75. 